not quite as good. What are you doing? I kind of, that was pretty good though, no? No! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey guys, how's it going? We're outside. We are outside. We're not really sure what this looks like. Or how it sounds. It probably is a test of how bad we are at setting things up. <laughs> I mean, it's the first time. Um, so today we actually have Anna on our show with us today. Say hi to Anna, everybody. Hi, Anna. They can't, they can't do that. I, I'm imagining it. I'm like listening and I hear them saying it with me. Like we talked about last week, right, Justin? This is kind of our first video where we're gonna actually have people teach us how to do stuff. Okay, so today I'm gonna teach you um, a little bit of hula hooping and dragon stuff. And these are two props that are used in um, the, the flow community. There's a whole community related to flow and flow props and flow arts. Um, poi is one of those with the balls and you know regular stuff and other things. So um, me personally, I'm a big hula hoop fan and just recently um, got into the dragon stuff about three months, so I'm no expert on that. But I'll teach you how to make a temporary one because the really nice professional dragon stuff could be quite a bit of money if you're not sure if you like it yet. So I have hula hooped in the past. I know what a hula hoop is. It's a hoop that goes usually around the waist. I've seen people do the arm stuff and everything like that, but I've never heard of a dragon stuff before. So what is that? So I think from what I researched on it, that a dragon staff is pretty much a staff, um, which is just a long stick. And then what happened is I think someone about 10, 12 years ago, I'm not quite sure, decided to put these little ends at the end to help make it spin more than just the regular staffs do. And um, then it just makes really cool like, Gives it a really sure. big visual aspect to it. Yeah, and a, a lot of times people put fire on the end of these, so it's a, it, you know, they yeah. spin fire. Are we gonna Are we gonna do that today? We're not. Oh, because all right. Me and fire don't work well together. <laughs> um, so Anna, like, what originally got you into like hula hooping? Is it something that you've done since you were a kid, or you just kind of recently picked up this hobby? Yeah. So I used to hula hoop as a kid, you know, and I really liked it. And I used to remember being in the garage when I was a little kid, making up little dance moves with the hula hoop. And then, you know, you get older and you forget about it. And then, I want to say it's around 2009, I saw this video, um, you know, of someone like, they call it hoop dancing, like, you can Google that and stuff. But hoop dancing, and they just pretty much dance in their hoop. They do like little kind of tricks, circus, circusy tricks. And I was just, I don't know, 2009, I was probably like in my 30s, but I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get that hoop. So um, there was a website, it's no longer around anymore, but it was called hoopgirl.com, and um, they had like a package that would, you know, get a big hoop mailed to you, literally, like it was mailed as a hoop to me, and it came with a video and things, and uh, you know, promoted it as good moving exercise. Um, so that's how I got into it. So you, and I apologize because a plane had to go over her. I was like almost tempted to make her stop at the story. It was so intriguing. So I apologize for the viewers at home. That probably sounded really tough, but. <laughs> Subtitles. <laughs> Subtitles might be added to that. <laughs> so you're gonna show us how to make a dragon staff now. So I gotta go grab some material um, and then you can kind of give us some tips on how to do that. Okay, so to make a practice dragon staff, you just need a um, half inch PVC pipe. They usually sell these in 10 foot long sections, so one 10 foot long section should be able to make you one practice dragon staff. Obviously, you're not gonna have a 10 foot dragon staff when you. <laughs> no? <laughs> when you move so. I was thinking it would be. <laughs> so, normally they say that the pole should be between like your shoulder and like your nose. I don't think Okay. This, yeah, okay. You got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a mask on. <laughs> yeah, and I still don't want to get near your face. <laughs> All right. Perfect. So we now have marked poles. Yeah, so now you have to cut them. So these things are great. They're called like, you know, pipe cutter. Um, and they're probably like 20 bucks too. Um, so you can use this. So basically what you're gonna do is, I'm gonna see my pole's already cut, but basically this curved piece, you put your pole in, 
and then you're gonna slowly bring it down to where you marked it. And you, it's gonna be kinda of hard at first, but you're gonna keep squeezing, and then you do like a little twist, and then it'll come out and you'll have a nice, hopefully, smooth section. I'm so sure you guys can do that with yours right, yeah. now. You want, you want me to go first? You want, you want Something to go tells me you should go first. I mean, if you chop it while it's up there, naturally it's going to fall <laughs> on somebody. You gotta let it all the way out first. What? Oh, yep. oh okay. <laughs> I didn't realize that. That's what I missed. So the next thing that you need to do is you need to make the weighted end. So pretty much you need a T connector that fits on PVC pipe like you can this. Put it right over to Show it to that camera. <laughs> Maybe a little lower. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this T connector. Not is this. <laughs> now, yes. This now, is the lies wrong one. about this T connector. She said T connector. It said T connector. <laughs> And then you would cut two seven inch things out to fit into this T connector on both sides. And then this part would go on here. So right? do you need four so seven inches or one seven inch that like connects? So you four need seven. two oh, okay. seven inch ones. Okay. To make one side. But what we're gonna do here, because we have the wrong T connector, is we're just gonna measure 14 inches. Oh, okay. All right, so we're just gonna take some black duct tape. <laughs> and this is Liza's fault. <laughs> Again, just so we're clear. This is the makeshift way of doing it, so I have really no idea how to duct tape this in the end. Do you think somebody's gonna have to hold it and duct tape at the same time, or no? But I think you can probably just kind of maybe start this way, like on the you side. You might have to do like an X or something. And then push, put this, make sure it's, you know, centered in the middle. And then kind of just bring the tape down. Cut. Oh yeah, there you go. See? So you have this little, you're making your own T-connector. <laughs> <laughs> I, could, I couldn't have asked for a better video. I mean, <laughs> if we said we are going to make makeshift. <laughs> So, so you have that, and then you can kind of just take another piece and wrap it right under it to kind of hold it. So is that it? Yeah, so the only other thing that you may want to do that would help <laughs> is you always kind of want to know where the center of your um, oh my God. staff is. <laughs> what did I do? Yeah, see, that's what I was happy I didn't do. Oh, okay. But she said it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. So it's just aesthetically pleasing. Right. So you just want to find the balance point? Yeah, and then you can put like a little piece of black tape there because when you're doing your rolls and stuff, it's good right, visualization to, to where your hand should be placed. So. <laughs> yeah, be correct with the tape. You don't have to get that close so to the camera. Correct. Also, you're talking into nothing. With the microphone back here. The microphone's here. behind me. So Why don't you do it incorrect. behind? Because I wanted a close up. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> I'm a hot mess today. Today? I don't want to get too close to yeah. Incorrect. Correct. Not quite as good. What are you doing? I kind of, that was pretty good though, no? No! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. I don't know. They have a lot of different names for the same thing. I, <laughs> I heard of it as Superman. But basically, you're going to have your dry stuff like this. You're going to uh, roll it down. So you start with your palms up. So it's going to kind of come down your arm. But your hands need to be up. And your head's going to go under. And you're going to catch it in the back. Ooh. Your hands kind of are in <laughs> Superman motion. And you catch it behind. Oh, you catch it with the out. <laughs> yeah! I caught it. You gotta catch look great, it, but I caught it. So you're like, mm. Come on. Down the back. Go the other way. Go the other way. Hold on, wait. I'm struggling with this right now. Oh! <laughs> hey. I think well, you're supposed to bring it back front, though. You're not yet okay. succeeding at anything yeah. yet. So well, now, you have succeeded. <laughs> so, well, she only half told us. No, yeah. she said bring it back to the front. You no. missed it. So now when you have it down oh. here and you catch it, 
And you gotta bring it back up. Like that? Oh, you gotta turn your palms. Oh, surprise, so mighty. <laughs> Clearly, you figured it out already. I can't do that. Oh, good. <laughs> Whoop, the side. Okay, so you can kind of balance it in the crook of your elbow, um, and then you want it, want it to roll down. When it gets down here, you're going to bring your arms up. You're kind of going to spin it where your hands go under, so you yep. get really good. Right, and when you're up here, you're rolling it down, oh, your chest, <laughs> and then you're rolling it back down. So, so. And, and it's supposed to be continuous. Oh, it slipped too much. I didn't go back. Oh, you just do it over and over again. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Liza, right, so you got this one? You don't have to worry about me. No, wait. <laughs> I gotta, once it's, it comes down to my chest, I put my arms down again. So it's, it rolls with you like this, right? It's gonna come up. You're rolling it down. So it's kind of rolling here. Yeah. But as it's here, you're kind of dropping it onto your chest. Oh, and then and you your come around. Oh, that's what I was doing wrong. Okay. okay. I say got it. Oh, I'm still not gonna get it right. <laughs> got it. She's still on Superman. I'm like, She's okay, I'm kidding. This is bad. I'm gonna go back to it. I'm gonna go back to it. All right. So up. Down. Oh yeah. Why? <laughs> He's got this. <laughs> Why though? Like, why does he got <laughs> really have no coordination whatsoever? Yeah, kind of. And there are ones where you just twist it. Ooh. Right. Can you just twist it? Yeah, so you just kind of do, you do like a figure eight. You're I can't like, do that one. You're like, grab, grab. Kind of like color guard, you guys. So you want to put one foot forward, whichever one, right? And you're going to kind of give it, put it on your back, you're going to give it a good spin. And when it's spinning, you want to feel when the hoop hits your tummy. Yeah. And that's when you're going to push. Yeah. So you kind of push. So you're rocking back and forth. This feels way too big though. Is this too big for me or not? Threat. Keep it up. <laughs> Is it because I'm not rocking fast enough? Could be. You want to feel when it hits your tummy. So every time it hits your tummy, you can think in your head. I have push, never push, in my life push, had anyone push. say, oh, no, yeah. hey, recovered. I have never heard anyone say push with your stomach before, and it makes so much sense now. <laughs> so for being a special SOL guest, we would like to give you a complimentary SOL mug. There you go. <laughs> and so what's our week, number for this week? We have to pick five balls. Five balls, guys. All right, so tune on to social media. You can check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Make sure you check out our other videos there and there, and make sure to subscribe. Bye! I'm so excited to be back, season three. This is the second video. Ah.